talking about transmission stuff, I've got a brand new clutch from Clutch Masters. I've got my racing shifter from Individual Racing Parts. Very cool chassis mounted shifter. I have my old, the flywheel I pulled off the Rect S52. Swap the ZF from the rest, Rect S52. Some new hardware to bearings, stuff like that to put on the new clutch with the old flywheel. But let's dig into each of the parts, I guess. So this is a, like I said, a Clutch Masters clutch. It's a F400. So it's practically like a race clutch, but it is streetable, as they tell me. It should hold uh, like 550, 500 wheel torque. So that's more than enough. I think it'll be good. I don't know that I'll ever push more than that. It's a ceramic style clutch. Oh, six puck sprung. Comes with a new uh, pressure plate. Comes with a throw up bearing, an alignment tool, some instructions and just data. I think it's pretty cool. I think it'll do the job. I'm very happy that it's a sprung. I know a lot of people will run unsprung clutches and I think they're crazy. That is so harsh on everything. This is uh, my individual racing part shifter. This thing is very dope. It is chassis mounted so you just bolt it onto the transmission tunnel. Solid everything. It's got a little button for reverse lockout so you don't accidentally go slam it into reverse when you're racing. And it's got very direct uh, shifting. So all of your shifts will be crisp with adjustable height for changing how uh, how short your throw is and it's got a good long shifter just so you're not that far from the wheel whenever you're racing. Very cool stuff. Let's throw it on there. But like always guys, all this stuff, all the FCP parts, all the ra racing shifter parts, the clutch, all the all will be in the description, all the links, all the part numbers and things like that. Okay, so one thing you wanna do whenever you replace the clutch is replace this pilot bearing. Uh, mine actually, my crank didn't actually even have one in there, so very fortunate for me. But this is a new one from SCP, it's an FAG pilot bearing. And all I'm gonna do is tap it in. Take a socket that's the same size. Wow, look at that. It just went right in. Super easy. Nice. So here's a standard flywheel bolt. This is one time use. And this is the aftermarket flywheel bolts for this flywheel right here. They're about half as long, so I have to use these. putting on the clutch would be so much trouble. This doesn't fit. What? It's a different diameter. The pressure plate? Yeah, it doesn't fit. All right, well, unfortunately, as you guys saw, the flywheel that I pulled off the parts car is the wrong size. So, what I did was I went and I got a new lightweight flywheel from Clutch Masters that I know will fit my pressure plate and clutch. This thing is nice. And you know, they're expensive, but it's quality parts. Look at this thing. So the main issue I was having was the actual circle for the pressure plate is a different size. I think this, this flywheel might not be the standard M3 size because it seems it seems smaller. Like see the the teeth actually fit in the same spot but the mating surface seems smaller. But put this up on whatever, probably sell it for cheap. Put in my new one. 
Now, nice thing about this, new surface, brand new surface. The other one had hot spots and things like this. So this will be good to have on there. This is a nice quality balance part to go with the clutch. Comes with new hardware, no instructions, but it's pretty straightforward. It's the same thing, we'll just torque it down. Put the blue Loctite on there. Put that uh, distribution uh, washer thing. And then put the clutch on, put the trans on, we are good. It's been, it's been a long time that I've been trying to put this trans on actually. I think it's probably been well over a month that I've been coming over to Ian's and working on it. So it's good to finally get that on so we can start prepping for putting the motor in the car. First things first, anytime you have a, a new surface like this, you want it to be very clean. You don't want any dirt or oil on it. So we'll get some brake clean, clean it all off. Same with the, the pressure plate. Because if you do not, you get a little dirt, a little oil on it, you can create hot spots and reduce the life of your clutch. So let's toss this thing on. Locating pin down. There we go. This came with brand new hardware, but there's no sealant on that hardware, so all you gotta do is put blue thread locker on there. Seventy-seven foot-pounds. I got a silver sharpie to mark the ones that I've done, and we're just gonna go around in a star pattern while Ian holds it for me. Wrong way. Sorry. You're good. Come here. Time to uh, use our clutch tool and our clutch. It's got a sticker for the flywheel side. Very easy. This just pops into the pilot bearing, holds that guy on there. Six putt sprung. Hell yeah. Come back in with the pressure plate. Give it one more wipe down. Everything looks good, transmission's finally on the motor. Everything's torqued down. My new lightweight flywheel from Clutch Masters and six puck sprung clutch is in there. That'll hold all the power I'm ever gonna make out of this thing. <sighs> very, very good looking. Everything's clean. Motor mounts, trans mounts. Only thing I'm missing now, the wiring harness needs to go on, but that's all done. You guys saw the video on that. Just needs to get popped on, and this thing's ready to go in the engine. So I just have some... Bay. Yes, in the engine bay, sorry. I just have the rush repair to do on that engine bay, and then paint, and it'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace out.
Cause aside from 